Hello and welcome to this eBase XI video tour. My name is Constance Rawlins and I'm a product consultant for eBase Technology. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the eBase page layouts and the various styling options available to give you complete control over the look of your page. Before watching this video, I'd recommend viewing our Introduction to the ADP video so you can familiarise yourself with the eBase design environment. If you've already done this, let's begin. So before we go into the designer, let's have a look at a couple of example layouts in the browser to give you an idea of what you could build using eBase. In web design, you need to have an extensive knowledge of HTML and cascading style sheets, or CSS for short, in order to comfortably build a simple web page layout. In eBase, the many factors you need to consider, such as left and right floats and style properties, are covered by one tool, providing a clear and concise way of designing your page. So let's go into the designer. In HTML and CSS, a web designer might use either a div tag or an HTML table to lay out a page. In eBase we use what are called containers, shown here on the left hand side of the designer in the palette tab. There are five types of container. A standard panel, a titled panel, a group panel, a grid which is similar to an HTML table and a page panel. Although the different layouts and layout properties affect each individual container in different ways, I'm going to focus on a standard panel to begin with. So let's start. Here is a series of example layouts I'm going to demonstrate to you. Let's begin with the horizontal layout. So this is what we're aiming to create. OK, so in the designer I have a standard eBase panel control as my parent container and this is the container whose layout properties I'm going to change. This simply means that any other controls you place inside the parent container will follow any layout and styling properties you set. Select your parent panel and on the right hand side of the designer select your layout type. Simple. So let's style it. Beneath the layout types list we can click here on the layout properties button. This opens up a layout properties assistant where you can position your controls with flexibility and accuracy. Let's have a 10 pixel gap between each individual control. Setting the block horizontal alignment positions the controls inside the parent container as a single unit or a block as shown in the preview window. For this demo, I'm going to set the block alignment to fill so I can set the cell alignment. OK, so once we've set the block horizontal alignment to fill, the cell horizontal alignment becomes available. This allows us to set the alignment for each child control within the parent panel. So we'll set that to center. And that's a horizontal layout. Leading on from the horizontal layout, we have the flow layout. In the designer, a parent panel which has been set to a flow layout will act like a horizontal layout, but if we view it in the browser, you will see that the contents of the container move in accordance with the size of the browser. Because of the nature of this layout, there is less control over where you can position the contents inside the parent container, so there are only two properties adding a gap between the controls and vertical alignment. So next let's take a look at the vertical layout. Just like the horizontal layout, the vertical layout is very simple. Set the parent container to a vertical layout. And set the layout properties in the same way as we did the horizontal layout. This time, set the block vertical alignment to fill to make the cell vertical alignment available for setting. And let's set it to center. 
No problem. Next is the column layout. The column layout is just as simple as the previous two examples. Set the parent panel to column layout and go into the styling assistant. So here we can see we have an option to specify the number of columns we wish to have. Let's have two to keep it simple. As with the horizontal and vertical layouts, we'll set the block alignment to fill and the cell alignment to center. Finally, we have the field grid layout. The field grid layout is aesthetically similar to a vertical layout, but comes with default styling properties. This layout was designed to provide specific functionality to the eBase field controls, which are one of the main tools of eBase XI. Because of this, the field grid offers styling and layout properties specific to the field control, so for this example, I've swapped the children panels in the parent panel for three field controls. There are three main points of focus here. The label cell, the editor cell, and the help cell. In all other layouts, there is no option to edit the individual parts of the field control, but in a field grid layout, these parts can be positioned individually. So as before, select your parent panel and set the layout type to field grid. When we select field grid from the layout options, the fields automatically snap into place as shown. If you remember with the vertical layout, we had to manually style our panels to achieve this ourselves. Let's have a look at the layout properties. As I mentioned before, the field grid layout offers specific styling options for field controls, shown here. The top five properties are similar to the standard properties available with the three previous layout types, padding, spacing and alignment. The properties I'm going to focus on are the three in the middle here, the individual label, editor and help cell properties. As you can see, there are many options available to give you the optimum control over the look of your page. With the option to edit and control the position and design of each part of the field, eBase XI truly does give you that power and control. Just to keep things simple, I'm only going to set to the horizontal alignment of each cell. This will centralise the contents of our parent panel to give a smart, clean finish. And that is the field grid layout. One of the things you definitely need to consider when designing your web page when using HTML and CSS is that layouts behave differently in different browsers. In eBase XI this is not a problem. Cross-browser support in eBay simply means that any page you design using XI will look exactly the same in any browser no matter which one you view it in. Using the eBay's XI page layout makes designing your web page fast and effortless. Have a go at the example shown in this video, experiment with different containers, different layout types and styling properties and see how easy it is to do. So to sum up, there is no need for any previous knowledge of HTML and CSS to use XI page layouts with ease. The layout types and positioning properties are flexible and simple to adjust. Styling is fast, easy and smart. And with eBase XI cross-browser support, your page will look exactly the way you designed it in every browser. Thank you for your time, and please visit the eBase Resource Centre to discover more about what eBase XI can do for you.